scheme came about by a regeneration project we were doing across Sandy Acre. We had two sites that housed redundant ill-conceived properties which were blighted. Essentially we wanted to replace them and we had the idea of replacing, replacing them something above and beyond the standard that we were used to. They were interested in the fabric first approach because it allows them to meet code for sustainable homes level four without uh, any bolt-on renewables or any complex technologies. It was the common sense approach. It was how to make a house as simple as possible to live in. To achieve passive house in terms of the structure, uh, we selected the timber frame system that originated up in Scotland where they do a lot of passive house systems. Um, so we we really piggybacked on their expertise. Our ideas for budgetary control was pretty simple in a way because of the amount of groundwork and precursive work we did before we actually started. Wrapping the air barrier around adjoining dwellings saved money because uh, we're using less material, it's got less uh, surface to cover and saves time on site as well because there's fewer details to actually get right. The main thing we learnt during the build process was how key quality control is and how key stage inspections are. Looking back now and looking what we've learned from this scheme, it's something we're going to be rolling out across our stock as well. Energy wise, we've, we've cut the bills under half. Um, sound from the triple glazing, lovely. Can't hear the road that's close by. I just can't praise it enough. So much different to our old house. Never go back to, to the old original sort of houses. These are absolutely superb.